different today just because I need a break and I want to just tune into you guys a little bit different. So normally I don't do all signs, but that's what we're doing today. So everyone be nice to each other in the live stream, smash the like button, and I'm going to start with Aries. So if anyone wants to drop in the chat where we're at, if anyone wants to do the timestamps, you don't have to, but if you would like to, it would be greatly appreciated. I'm going to start this message with a prayer and I'm going to keep these messages quick, blunt, and sassy. Okay. If you guys have headphones in, you're going to want to hit you're going to want to turn down the volume because I'm going to be hitting the bell. If you guys are new here, I'm your bestie on the internet. I'm your favorite reindeer, your spiritual advisor. I'm all of the things. Get comfortable because we're going to go through all of the astrological signs and you could pick your sun, your moon, your rising, or you could be cross-watching for somebody else, but it should be with your particular sign. Whether you watch sidereal or tropical, it's just whatever resonates, whatever is your jam. On top of that, this is going to be about the person on your mind. I felt this strongly that you guys need to know, like everyone's freaking confused right now. And so I want to tap into whatever messages I can get you guys for the person on your mind. A lot of you guys are dating or going through relationship stuff. So I just want to get you guys some clarification and have some fun. So grab your snacks, grab whatever you be sipping on, whatever you be smoking on, because I'm going to get all the tea all the tea. Anything not of the light or the divine plan is no longer welcome here and must leave immediately calling upon my angels, my ancestors, only of the highest white light and Archangel Michael as I calibrate to the energy of all signs, my collective. Amen. Okay. Aries, the person on your mind. <laughs> Aries, sun, moon, and rising. Let's see what's going on with your person. What do you need to know right now? What is going on? I got all my favorite decks out. I'm so excited. Because I just need a break from like the regular schmegular, you know, you know. <laughs> hi guys. Hi Alexis. Hi Manix. Hi Jelly. Hi Kyrie. Hey, besties. Okay, so we are on Aries. Anybody feel free to timestamp. You don't have to. And you guys can help me with the signs as people are tuning in. If you have been a subscriber of four weeks or longer, you will be able to participate in this live stream. Okay. Ooh. Aries. The person that you're dealing with, the timing is off. Okay, and you don't know what's wrong with them. You feel like they're focused on other. I feel like this is going to be really fun. I'm really excited. Okay, I feel like they're being weird or they're being wishy-washy. They you feel like they're playing the field because like you guys can't get the timing on track. You don't know if this person is focused on other things and or other people and you don't know if they desire to be in a relationship you don't know what the frick is going on with them but you're like do you want to be in this or not this person could have ghosted you this person could not be answering the phone this person could be giving you all the excuses in the book like oh i was uh working all night like this person right now could be saying like they work from 9 a.m to midnight every day every day they could be saying, I'm launching something, I'm doing something, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. I'm not on this app. Da, 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 da. Something's fishy, especially if you met them on a dating app. So this tells me that Aries, you are more interested in this person than this person is showing interest in you. And I'm going to find out what the frick else is going on. But right now I'm getting that. You're like TikTok. I don't have time to wait because Aries, I'm getting that you guys have new standards and you guys are coming in hot. You're like, I got new standards. I don't have time to waste. And even though I like you, I'm hearing like, I like your pretty face. You're really cute. You're really hot, but you're not about to play me on my timeline. You're just not about to do that. You are not about to do that. So it's TikTok. You are like, are you committing 
or not. I'm not asking you to get freaking married. I'm just asking you to just like answer the phone. I don't know why this person wants to dawdle, <laughs> diddle, daddle, faddle, dawdle on your timeline. But you're pissed. You're not showing them that you're pissed though. You're like, I'm unbothered, but low key bothered. I feel you because I don't like when people waste my time. So this could be somebody new in the equation, but it's somebody that you really have taken a liking to and you like don't want to like them as much as you like them because they're not like reciprocating any urgency. Where the frick is the urgency here? Mm. You're like, basically, if this person has ghosted you the last week, you have a timer in your head. You're like, <laughs> time is out. It's been out. You got 30 seconds. You got one day. You should have called yesterday. You should have texted yesterday. I feel bad for this person when they go to text you. Because they they need to improve their communication skills. They definitely need to communicate. They definitely need to, they need to do something. All right, this is a never after. The person on your mind is probably not the one Aries. And I know that's probably not what you want to hear, but you deserve somebody that can freaking communicate. Let's start there. This person, you are going to regret engaging with them in the short term. The more you try, even get mad or uh, you're just going to get more pissed the more time you even spend thinking about this person. You regret, if, if you guys have been dating this person for a long time, you regret. Like, there's about to be some ramifications. You're like, I should have freaking known better. You're like, how many podcasts, how many TED Talks, how many of Britney's live streams have I watched to know that I shouldn't have even entertained this? We all have those relationships. It's okay. Let's see what else is going on. I feel like this person, you want them to like mirror you back and they're not doing that. They are definitely not doing that. They're just like seeing what they can get away with. It's turned into like a dating fiasco. Hi, Rich Beef. Ooh, fake facade. This person has been faking something with you. I don't know if they were trying to make you their plan B. I don't know if they pissed you off and said they like the download that I'm getting is they said they could have said something about your looks. That's a no. They could have said something about your weight. Do they want to get socked in the throat? This person is pretending to be someone they're not. And Aries, let me be clear. I'm going in on Aries because we are entering a do 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 a Mercury do 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 in Aries. This person knows what you bring to the table. And they're kind of like, they're faking it. They got a weird flex. They can't marry you back. Can't none of y'all marry me back. And they're faking it. So one of the reasons why they don't communicate well right now is because they're going to look dumb as fuck. And I'm also getting another download that Whoever this person is, it's like they're trying to hide that if they were going to give you something, it would be on a string. There would be a string attached. Like, they got a calculator in their head. And it ain't girl math, neither. So, say they took you out to dinner in their head. They're like, mm, I didn't get laid. I didn't get this. Should I, Is that dinner worth it? Like, this person is a never after. Never ever. On the top of the never list. They will be never it. Never, 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 bitch. Um, this person pretends to be somebody that they're not. So they get away with that with all their little side pieces, all their little snacks. They're not going to get away with that with you. So that's why their communication is shoddy, janky, shysty. They are hiding their true intentions which is to knock you down a peg or five. This person, if they're cute, they're already getting a lot of attention. And then they're trying to play it off to you like they're not. They got sneaky tendencies. 
and they're the pump fake is real mm. that tea this person is sneaky they they try to get something at a like i don't know like there is no unconditional love with this person that's why they're the never after because like if they if they do something for you they got a tally in their head and they're like "Ooh, i took them to dinner i bought them those roses i want like they want something they want they're very transactional ew <laughs> no no, 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 no. This is about to be a case of the X. You're about to be on the rebound. Aries. <laughs> no one pivots better than you. No one rebounds better than you. You guys are about to go on like however many other dates. Or you're about to just drop this person. Like cold turkey. You guys are going to overcome whoever this is by <laughs> talking to somebody else. Talking to you know, the other people on deck. Damn. Shoot your shot, Aries. Shoot your shot. Dang. And this person I feel like is talking to their ex. They're like stuck on their ex and they're like talking to a bunch of other people, acting like they're not, acting like they're working all the time. They could work with their ex. Aries, you are about to have wish fulfillment in living a better life, okay? This person, you are about to cancel. You are separating. This person makes you doubt yourself, and you don't like that. Because you're building your empire over here, you're, like, thinking that maybe they're a vibrational match, but you're starting to see, like, the cracks. And I feel like they were good at hiding it because they weren't properly communicating with you, okay? So you're about to have your own success. You guys could be a homebody for a little bit, but I do see that you guys are going to be re rebounding very quickly. So what you need to know right now about this person is they're fraudulent. They are masking certain things. They are faking certain things. They, uh, the timing is, it's this, is, this person is not it. They're very transactional. They want something for everything they give. Ain't nothing free with this person. Ain't no dinner free. Ain't no steak free. Ain't no champagne free. Like they want things. Ew. We're not here for that. They couldn't find the ladder if they had two hands and a map. All right, Taurus. <laughs> okay. Holy freaking. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Taurus, 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 sun, moon, or rising. What do you need to know right now about the person on your mind? Thank you, Life Purpose. <laughs> life Purpose is like, oh my gosh. Oh, Madone, what is happening? What is happening? Ooh. Taurus, you came in like a wrecking ball. We got... The Page of Swords, you are very energetic right now, vigilant, you are very sharp, <laughs> you are very talkative, maybe you guys are like getting back in the dating game, ooh, okay, let's see what's going on with the person on your mind, are you facing strong opposition? Outside factors. Oh, okay. Do you guys feel, Taurus, like this person, you're going to have to, like, compete for their love with, like, either their family, their exes, their ex-wife, their ex-husband, their baby's mom, their job. Do you feel like they're forbidden fruit or something about your relationship has to be secretive because they're, like, it's, like, hard to get time with them. Taurus, you could have a fear of being alone or the person you're dealing with is really codependent. Okay, the person that you're with would be laying it on really thick. 
Hi, Avi. What is going on? This person is emotionally unavailable, but they're super needy. Yes, they're codependent. They lay it on thick, but by love bombing. I'm getting that with this person, their talk is cheap, Taurus. Whoever this is, it's like there's mental conflicts with this person. This person allows past relationships to dictate or predict how their current relationship will be. Or they bring up their exes or their past a lot. This person likes to live in the past. And then when you call them out on it, it's like, it's like forbidden for you to bring up your past. It's like forbidden for you to talk about your ex. But this person talks about them and all these other people all the time. And then they love bomb you. You're like, um, we just started seeing each other. Just giving you guys an example. We just started seeing each other. So why are you talking about your ex so much? We just met. Or why are you talking about your mom so much? We just met. Or why are you talking about like they're just they talk about things that are like taboo. And then when you go to talk about these things, it's like mental conflict. They're like, ah, oh, you can't talk about these things. What? What? And this person talks a lot. <laughs> this person talks a lot. Like they could be on something. They talk that much. And I'm getting like that this person doesn't listen. Ooh. They could feel like you're kind of a hothead. That you pop off without warning. But it's because they've got lazy attempts. Yeah. Hmm. What is going on? Okay. This person could be really emotionally immature. I don't care what their age is. They got one foot out the door and they're always trying to like be passive passive aggressive like oh my exes used to do this for me my mom used to do that for me like who cares what your mama did for you and what your exes did for you because they ain't here riddle me what they're not here so they're like oh i could go to here i could go to florida i could go like they're always trying to like taunt you but it's a defense mechanism that they have while living in the past i can't drive the sports car forward Looking back this way, you just can't. And there's something about it that's like lazy. Your guys' love languages are different. This is the 411. Your guys' love languages are different, and that's okay. But they're not even willing to take a step in the right direction. They just want to show you, I can, I can do battle by myself. I'll be over here. And you're like, I could take care of you, but you're a moron. So you guys might be like over, like, not only over this person, but trying to be busy with work because it's like pointless. It's like a dead end. This person is haunted by you. Okay. And if you, basically what I'm getting for you, Taurus, is if you accept this relationship, you are accepting it with the stipulations because this person is very stubborn and doesn't want to change. And you guys know all about stubborn. But they're the wrong kind of stubborn. You're like, I'm not going to let their stipulations dictate this relationship. That's going to be really hard for you. So I would say next, they got one foot out, I'd put another foot out. I'd throw my bag out the door. We could play the freaking hokey pokey. But what they're not going to do is try to passive aggressively taunt you with hypothetical situations that aren't coming to pass. Ain't nobody banging down their door right now. Ain't nobody. But they want you to believe that that's the case. That's how haunted they are by you. They want you to feel inadequate. It's not going to happen. They play too many games. They ain't brave enough to ghost you either. <laughs> They're just like, I got one foot out the door. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. If you, were, if you really had some courage, you would just disappear. 
perfect. <laughs> so, Taurus, I hope I helped you. What in the frick is going on? I felt so called to this, and I never feel called to this, but I was like, here we go. Here we go. Let's get uh, one more card for you guys. Something that's good that's coming in for you. And then we're going to move on to Gemini. Judgment. This little relationship, situationship, whoever this person is, person that you friend zoned, whoever they are to you, you are going to be figuring out your spiritual calling from some type of like heartbreak or pain. So this little setback or whatever you are defining this as is going to catapult you into some a better situation. You know when I tell you guys when we drop dead weight, real good things happen, real good things take place, your eyes are going to be wide open and you're going to be able to monetize some of this pain. Like if you were a musician, you would make bank off of the song you're going to write off of this chooch. Okay, there's something you're going to be able to monetize, whether it's poetry, music, lyrics, art, whatever it is, off of the back of whoever this is. Okay, I'm seeing that you guys are about to be really good in business and this is going to be part of your focus because this person ain't it. They are most likely not it. Now, if you guys are already in a relationship with them and you've been for a long time, I don't know if you guys want therapy or couples therapy, but they need to understand that their stipulations don't mean shit and that you're going to throw them out the window or like there needs to be a mediator for you guys because they need to get to understanding real quick. You feel me? Okay, Gemini. Thank you, Travis. Thank you, Victoria. <laughs> okay. Gemini's. Oh, shit. Whoever you're talking to, you feel like they resurfaced out of nowhere. They better find their way to an apology. Somebody owes you an apology, <laughs> Gemini. Somebody owes you a mother effing apology. Are they going to give you one? I don't think so. But they owe you one. Gemini, there is somebody here that... They either you're dealing with an ex that wanted to uh, <laughs> wanted to reconnect with you or you guys are dealing with somebody in power or a boss that tried to F you over because you wouldn't sleep with them or you wouldn't give them attention or you wouldn't give them the time of day. And so they did something crazy to F you over. Or this is an ex that is resurfacing that did something long ago in the way, way back machine to F you over. And I feel like the two of these people, they are not bearing apologies. Okay, they just had a recent breakup or they were bored. Uh, but this person does have feelings for you. Let's see what else is going on. They're going to try to come in nonchalant. Now that you're on your shit. Pop your shit, Gemini. Now that you guys are on top of your game and you give zero you-know-whats, okay? You are looking up in the sky. Life is good. You got no fucks to give. That's when this person's coming back. And they're like, oh, I was just wondering how you were doing. And then they like got like third-party apologies. They got like other people saying, oh, you know, they feel really bad about that. That's funny. I didn't hear that from Gemini's person's mouth. And they've been periodically checking in on you. If this is your ex, they've, they're, they've been periodically checking your social media to see, are you married? Are you engaged? What's going on in your life? And you've been looking amazing, flawless. Gemini, whatever you're doing, <laughs> they're so upset that they effed this up. It looks like you are, like you don't have a care in the world. You're looking up in the sky. There's no, there's no fucks to grab. There's none. That's how happy you look. So whatever your profile pictures are right now, whatever your dating apps look like, I don't know if they saw you on a dating app or if they were just Googling you, but you look like 
you're doing things effortlessly. Like you don't think about them at all. This person could have treated you at one point like you were less than. Whether they are a boss or an ex. They treated you like, I got all these things in the hopper. I got all these things on deck. My life's going to be awesome. And their life is still not moving. And I'm getting that they're a little sprinkle, sprinkle, lazy. If this person is your ex, they value their inside circle or their family more than they value your word. And then when you argue with them or try to prove your point or did in the past, it was like four against one, two against one, three against one. And you're not never going back to that. But this person is definitely thinking about you and they're going to nonchalantly try to pop up in this retrograde, okay? They are going to try to reach out to you in this retrograde, I know. This person, this could have been the karmic that you didn't think was a karmic if this is your ex. If this is somebody that you're working with and they did you dirty, like either way, these people are not bearing apologies and they were arrogant and how they treated you in the past and now you got your nose up and you have nothing to say. Oh my gosh, cold as ice. You're as cold as ice. Damn. You are going to ignore the ish out of them set you roses they're frozen you ain't thawing it ever they just effed you over so bad whoever this is they cannot tell the truth <laughs> they cannot tell the truth you guys are going to give them more than a cold shoulder you are going to dismiss them you don't see them You are not unthawing this anytime soon. <laughs> this person could have cheated and they will never cop to it. They will never admit it. They will never admit they were talking to your friends. They will never admit that they were hitting on your whoever. They will never admit it. And that's why you. this is a block of ice and it's not going anywhere. If this is somebody you work with or your boss... They're probably on their way out. They've probably relocated themselves. They probably just put in their notice because that is how cold you are treating them right now. They just realized that they had it good, even in the slightest, when you acknowledge their presence. Now you don't acknowledge them at all. So they're getting to getting. They don't want to be around. They don't want to be here. They're like, oh my gosh. Now they really won't talk to me. Yeah, you fucked up. All of you for the Geminis. You effed up. You guys don't forget. Emotional cheating. Whether this person was your boss or your ex, they were trying to make you upset by investing in other people. So say this was your ex. They were emotionally invested in a weird way with your friend and you're like, why are you whispering and key keying with them in the corner. Do you want to get punched in your throat? Say this is your boss. And they were just telling you the other day that you were doing an incredible job. And now they're treating you like shit on their shoe. And you're like, do you want to get punched? They're arrogant in the weirdest way. Maybe this is two situations for you. Two people, Gemini, two people. Damn. Oh my gosh. You guys are not. You guys are so mad at this person. I don't care if it's been 10 years. You guys are so. Because this person can't tell the truth. Like at least you could move on. If they just said. Yeah. I was talking to your girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was going to replace you at work. Yeah. I, I did like you. And I was a little salty. You would respect that. Now they see you cold hearted, living your best life, and they're so butt hurt. This butt hurt <laughs> is not going anywhere for them. Just like your block of ice, you ain't thawing. This person dismissed your feelings over and over and over again. You are not even trying to understand where they're coming from.
Okay. You had a coming to Jesus, a light bulb moment that said, why do I have, I don't have to put up with their crap. I really don't. This person has also come to the big realization that you are beyond the one that got away. Okay, Gemini, you guys, they see now that whatever they were doing to stir the pot blew up in their face. Whatever they were doing to stir the pot, it's not going to ever rectify your guys' situation, you guys communicating, and they're going to have to live with that for the rest of their lives. So good for you. If you were thinking about talking to them, I would forgive them from afar, but I would keep doing what you're doing because they really pissed you off. They really tried to cause you harm. I don't like that. They really tried to like get one over on you, steal from you, um, sleep with two of your friends, like that type of ish. They were really like, you are ice cold when it comes to these two people. And it's not going to stop. Okay. Let's get you guys a blessing. They just see you as like, see, I freaking knew it. This is you guys. I'm the sun. I'm looking up at the sky. Life is good. You guys have a lot of gratitude for the people that are honest, that are legitimate, that are genuine in your life. And whatever you are hopeful of with this person, you're like, okay, that's just not what it's going to be. It's very unfortunate, but I got to live my life. What do I do? What do I do with it? I got to live my life. You look like you're having a lot of fun, like you're successful, like you're just celebrating a good life. Now, on the inside, you could be turning, pissed, mad, but they don't see that. So you are playing it very well. Very well. And Gemini, you guys also have good news coming in. Especially if you're trying to, as mad as you are at this person, you're praying for yourself, praying to let go of this like grudge. You're praying for yourself. Good for you. Like you're praying for forgiveness. You're like, oh my gosh, I got to let go of this. I'm so freaking mad. I don't have time to be mad at them. They're not worth it. So you're really realizing not only your worth, but that they ain't worth, they ain't worth it. And the best revenge is the happier you are. You are going to be looking like a pig rolling around in shit. Happy. Happy, happy, happy. Okay. Gemini, I hope you guys enjoyed their me your message. This person that you're uh, dealing with also, Gemini, they're going through some very unlucky times. They are just like at the beginning of of that and so they're really looking at you like you're the luckiest person in the world and they f that up just keep that in mind okay and you guys have good news coming in so enjoy that enjoy that all right who's next cancer cancer sun moon or rising this is your jam whether you watch sidereal or tropical doesn't matter okay does not matter Okay, Cancer, the person on your mind. What is going on? Whoa. I don't know why they make this deck so big. Okay, Tainted Scars. You guys feel like you keep... Thank you, Avi for your donation, you guys feel like you keep attracting the same type of person and you're getting a little like discouraged cancer. You're like, I keep attracting mama's boys or like people that are codependent. So you're being a little hard on yourself that you keep attracting the same type of person or even if you invest a lot of time, they end up being like the last person and you are having some type of physical intimacy issues or hang-ups about physical intimacy that maybe you just uncovered and didn't realize that you have and you haven't been able to properly communicate your feelings with said person one foot in i'm seeing that the person that you're dealing with cancer they have one foot in so like they're willing to work with you but they're like they don't really know what's going on and it's just, you guys can have really high highs and low lows. And when you're trying to, you know, tell somebody about like, 
things that happened to you physically in the past, especially with intimacy that could be really hard, whatever your hangups are, I feel like this person has one foot in to be like, I'll listen, but they're kind of scared or like intimidated of you. So you might feel like it's really hard to enjoy like normal pleasure like pleasure could make you feel really guilty okay and I feel like you have some hang-ups about intimacy and so does this person you guys both have tainted scars and you guys are really needing to communicate your feelings I have the phoenix rising this person is going to transform. They're going through a rebirth. They're going through some type of awakening and they're going to be working on themselves because even if you're not communicating properly or they feel like it's hard to tell you what's going on with them, they are, I don't know what's inspired this, but Cancer, your person is going through a dark night of the soul. They're going through a, de a depression and they are going to come out of this reborn from the ashes. Damn. So maybe this person's been having just a hard time, just as hard of a time communicating their issues. And they're being very strategic right now. They're examining you. They have one foot in, one foot out because they are examining how your situation is before they make a move. It's like they're watching you. But maybe like they know that they don't have their best to give right now. I don't know if they're suffering the loss of a loved one or they like lost a, a parent or a grandparent or a, a pet of a long time. There is some type of grief that they're dealing with in this depression. You guys can make up and break up a lot, Cancer. And this is why it could feel like a deadly combination. You guys could both be like, do or die. Never or forever type of ish. Make up breakups. Um, you guys have explosive arguments. You guys are double the trouble. You guys could trigger each other easily. Ooh, thank you, Ariel. Damn. Thank you, goddess. Dang. They feel inferior to you as well. Whatever they're going through, they feel inferior to you. The thing is, there's some timing at place, in place. So I don't know if you're going to want to wait for this person to rise from the ashes because I'm getting timing is, the time is moving really slow. So it's really going to be up to you guys if you're going to put up with it, it. I think it just depends on how much you have invested. And this person feels like they are not good enough, not only around you, but around others. They have a lot of inner work to do. So I don't know if you guys are going to have the patience for this. Yeah. You guys are going to have to weigh the pros and cons with this person. If you're haunted by them. You don't want to give up on them. But at the same time, like, the cons are outweighing, outweighing the pros. Oh, this is sad. This person, if they're trying to play the field, that is why this list is so long. They like focus their time where things are easier. You're, the person on your mind, Cancer, could have also just lost a job or they're losing money. I'm just getting they feel inferior to you. What in the world? Whoa. Did you guys see that? Financial troubles flew. It knocked over the timing card. Hold on. Weather disaster. Yeah, Cancer, the person on your mind, they are not equipped. They are not equipped. You're going to be like putting them in their place. Let me pick these up. Let me pick these up and see. Hold on, hold on. 
because we got to know what this says. Oh my gosh. You are wasting your time. Cancer, I'm so sorry. They're confused. They're going to be confused for a minute or five. This person will soon be a forgotten memory or they cannot get their head out of their ass long enough to remember all of the good times that you guys have had. This is giving me like they're very selfish right now, self-absorbed. Let me give you guys an example. When I was in my addiction, I was very selfish. Now, granted, I didn't date the best of, the best of people. I just was thinking about me and I wasn't equipped enough to be proper in a relationship. But I dated a cancer when I was an addict for a long time. And he just wanted to be an addict still. And I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I literally could not live that way anymore. It was driving me insane. You guys could be wanting to get sober or wanting to start a better life, a clean life, a clean slate. And this person is only going to bring you financial trouble. They're only going to cause you disaster. They're only going to cause you to lose a job. And they're only going to bring you more confusion and make you feel like you wasted your time. Like when I left my ex, now this was a long, long time ago, I didn't want to die a heroin addict. I really didn't. And I loved him so much. But at the same time, I was like, dude, I don't want to die like this. I don't. I literally moved to another state. And I'm just getting this person like, they're already causing you financial trouble. If you guys have been together a long time, you guys could be lending them money, borrowing them money. Maybe they've done some favors for you. But in the end, it's it's just going to keep bringing about disaster because this person, even if they have the desire to change, they can't change for that long. So who knows like how far down the road this Phoenix rising is, or that could literally even be you. These tainted scars could be you being the Phoenix rising, coming out of dark night of the soul, awakening to the fact that you can't save this person. Okay, now Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Risings, whether sidereal or tropical, you will know if that is your message. Do not jam it up and make it fit if it is not yours, but if this person has made it hard for you to go to work, made you want to call out sick because you feel like you have to watch them, you feel like you have to babysit them and see if they're talking to people, what they're doing on their laptop, what they're doing with money, like this person isn't ready yet. They are headed for a dead end that I don't see you in that vehicle. You feel me? I really don't. And you're just really waking up to the fact that these memories that you have with this person are going to be forgotten memories soon enough. Damn. If you guys live with this person... You are going to have to be a little bit strategic, courage all the way up to here with how you maneuver out of this situation because if it's always them against you, their family against you, their boys against you, their girls against you, whoever this is, you need to have all your, all your zero fucks on deck. All your middle fingers in the air and they stay there. You need to have those ready because... They might want to throw your shit in the street. They're going to throw a fit. They're going to grab onto your arm. They're going to grab onto your leg. And we ain't got time for that. Know this. Though you could have been obsessed with this person, they had third-party interference and they liked that. This person likes the third-party interference. I want you to keep that in the back of your mind. Okay? Because they're probably not being honest. Also, if you do get out of Dodge, if you do get out of the way, if you do get out of this situation because you're living together, whatever, what have you, you will be unaffected by their attacks and anything that they're sending your way because you will be divinely protected as you navigate out of this situation. Whether you guys have kids together or not, like your angels are going to see you got the one foot out the door and they're going to guide the rest of the way. 
They are going to guide you the rest of the way. Like, literally shield you. Your willingness to leave and to know when is enough is your lethal weapon. Capiche? All right. Let's get you a blessing. Holy macaroni. Let's get you a blessing. Let's see what's going on for cancer. Give me something good for cancer. Dang. If this person thought that they could boss you around, it's not happening. Maybe you let them for a little while because you just wanted to try to keep the peace at times. And you're just seeing like their double trouble. You're going to be feeling a little disappointed, but your life is going to have more structure. I'm not going to lie to you. You're going to be crying a little bit. Like, damn, why can't this just, just work out? Why can't they see like it doesn't need to be this way? It's because they're freaking selfish. Bottom line is they're selfish. Bottom line is they got their own agenda. And that other agenda comes before you. So you can have a good cry. You can have several good cries because your life is going to be better. You are going to be liberated. You are going to be the authority. It's going to have structure. You're not going to have to fly by the seat of your pants on their agenda, their schedule, their calendar. No, 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 no. You won't even have time to pencil them in. Literally, the blessings are going to roll in as you're crying and walking away because your angels got you, God got you, and <laughs> the universe also goes hard for you. This person has burnt you out. All right, Cancer, I hope that message helped you, you guys. As this reading progresses, anybody that wants to drop the timestamps when the reading ends, feel free. It's Don't feel pressured to, but if you do, I really appreciate it. And if you are enjoying the love readings, I just want to do something different. And I felt really called that like you guys needed this right now. Please drop your diamonds throughout the live stream because then I will, I'll try to do these, you know, however often. Okay. Let's see. We are on to Leo. Okay, Leo gang. Oh, shit. The person on your mind is destructive right now. Okay, normally you guys could be, yeah, normally, okay, Leo, <laughs> there's so many messages coming in. Thank you guys. So we just finished Gemini, we are on, or we just finished Gemini and we just finished Cancer, we're on to Leo. Okay, we did Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, now it's Leo. Leo, the person on your mind, they are going through an energy shift, okay? And this is their opportunity to overcome. If you guys are normally like getting along and you guys are normally really good, something's going on where you're gonna have to really like step up for your person if this is a long-term relationship. There is some type of trouble that's coming in for you guys. But at the same time, it's like going to help you to be on top. It's going to help you to be synchronized. It's going to help your partnership. So, um, Leo, say you're going through something at work and they're going through something with your fam their family or you're going through something with your family and they're going through something at work. It's going to bring you guys together. I'm seeing that this person, Leo, they like doing things in unison with you. Like they like doing monotonous things with you. They like doing the boring things. You guys could be um, like claustrophobic. You don't like being smothered, but you like doing things with this person and they really enjoy your company. Okay, so you guys are forming an alliance, learning how to work together better as a cohesive unit. You guys are both trying to learn how to triumph over evil. Oh, I love this for you guys. Uh, this could have been somebody that you hooked up with. Ooh, they could also be a fire sign. You guys are like mirroring each other. This per person can be ruthless when they want to be ruthless. They, they see you as sexy. They see you as energetic, outgoing, courageous. They see you as strong-willed. And now they could have even inspired this in you. But either way, they think that you are hot. 
okay? They think that you are sexy. They like being a team with you. It's like you show them, Leo, what loyalty looks like. You show them what rocking with them to the wheels fall off. It's like they thought they knew what luxury was. They thought they knew what loyalty was. They thought they knew what friendship was. You are redefining all of that for them. So I'm seeing that you are really like blowing their mind. They might not know how to articulate all of this to you. You guys could be dealing with a Taurus, a Scorpio, a Sagittarius, an Aries, or another Leo. But if you are an entrepreneur, they want to be an entrepreneur. If they are an entrepreneur, you, like you guys are just both on fire right now. And I'm seeing that you guys are handling conflict quickly. Any conflict that's coming in, you guys are taking this as an opportunity to overcome. And anybody watching sees it as an electric display. You guys could be seeing 555 a lot right now. You guys could be a little worried that like your relationship's going to go through some sort of change or you're scared like the bottom's going to drop out. But I'm getting that like this is a good alliance and that this is what they want with you. Like they they like spending time with you. Like they want to row boats with you. Okay. They want to ride bikes with you. And something tells me they don't like riding bikes. They don't like rowing boats. Capiche? And yeah. Wow. The person on your mind feels like anything is possible with you. You guys help them stay really optimistic. You guys are also teaching them to go with the wind. You guys really help them balance, like balance things out. You guys also are helping them like peep situations. Like you're their other set of eyes because your loyalty is showing them like, okay, if I can't see everything, like they're my other set of eyes. Like they're watching. This person is grateful to you. I don't know if they can say this to you, but they're grateful that you're flexible with your schedule or like, I don't know. Um, they're grateful that you guys like will drop what you're doing, not in a like, oh my gosh, what do you need me to do? But like that you're flexible, that you'll like change things around in order to help them when they're like going through something. They feel like there's a lot of potential. You guys could also be dating a Gemini. Okay, I've got Gemini, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Leo, that you guys could be dating or married to. Okay, let me pull out the love deck and see what else is going on for you. Leo, the person on your mind. This person normally doesn't like to convert to what other people are doing. They're normally very stubborn. Like, I like doing it my way. But you guys, like, melt the ice a little bit. You guys make them think, like, oh, well, if I did conform, what would that look like? They might not tell you that, but you guys really make them think about their religious views. You guys really make them think about, like, life in general and what they want out of life. Uh, this person is concerned that you could, like, wander off, <laughs> okay? This person is concerned that, like, you're a hot commodity and you could just, like, wander off and go do your own thing or that, like, you'll get bored of them. They like that you ignore what other people say about them. So if people are like, oh, I wouldn't date him if I were you because he did this, he did that, he did this, like, you stand for, you stand up for them. They really like that. They like that you ignore what other people say. You tell them to go fly a kite. You tell them to go get bent, get pushed, whatever. And you don't focus your energy on the exes that are stirring the pot, his family or her family that's stirring the pot. Whoever this is to you, like, you're like, you just leave the pot alone. They really like that. Wow. This person admires you. I'm just saying this person really loves you. 
they um they could frequently talk about their ex that could piss you off but i'm getting that it's harmless or if this is something that you've been worried about it's harmless this person talks about them because they're appreciative of the fact that you're so different so it's kind of like a compliment but they just really they feel really comfortable talking to you guys about things they like talking to you about two-faced people, people that are beyond repair. And this person admires that you guys have been through a lot of trauma or conflict in your life. How optimistic you are. How you still enjoy your life. How you're still changing. Wow. They just think that you're really energetic, confident. They like doing things with you. This person can have issues with their family. Okay, I'm seeing that the person that you're dealing with, they could have, they could feel like these obligations to their family and it could be conflicting. So I'm getting that your guys' advice, Leo, is to let them sort out their family issues. Even though you want to be protective of them and they are protective of you, things can happen and sometimes we don't forgive people fast enough. And then they pass away and they're gone. And then your person is left there like not being able to fix it. So I'm getting like enter when you are when you need to, when they ask you to. But I wouldn't try to separate them from whatever family obligations they have. I would really be supportive of that as much as that might pain you. Because you might see their family for the whatever is that they are. The best thing that you could do if that is you, Leo, is let them come with the disrespect. Let them do whatever crazy and your person will go for their jugular. Okay? So you kind of just need to stand back like, oh, I don't know what's wrong with them. What the, what's the, Why are they so mad? Why are they so mad? Yeah, investigator. This person really likes <laughs> finding out information about you. They could have looked up your background. They're very curious about like your ethnicity, your family history. Like they just want to know everything about you. So they like look at you very closely, Leo. Like they will see a freckle. They will notice it. They might not say nothing, but they notice everything on your body. They notice like everything that you say, new words that you say, words that you didn't say before. Like they notice everything about you. Anything else for Leo? Whoa. This person definitely sees you as, oh, they're dreaming about you, Leo. If you guys are married, they feel like they need to do more for you. Okay. If you guys are married, they feel like they need to step up their game. They're not telling you that, but they're thinking that. They feel like they could have criticized you too harshly with something that they asked you to do, maybe because of how they were raised. You guys could have just checked their ass. <laughs> and they dream about you a lot. I'm hearing an airplane. I'm just getting that you guys are going to soar together. Let's get some tea. Anything else for Leo? This person could dream frequently. Like, they dream a lot about you. I don't know if they tell you that or not. I feel like this person really appreciates you because their exes hurt them more than they, they'd like to admit. They love this for you. If you guys are loving yourself now, they love this for you. They love that you're a little bit selfish. Okay, let's get you some good news. I feel like that was good. That was good for you. I feel like your concerns are maybe them being a little bit more energetic or them kind of talking about their ex or them liking to look into people. Like, they, they're just nosy. <laughs> okay, I don't feel like they want to. I don't feel like they want to sabotage what you guys have. They are definitely overwhelmed with either their family or their job. Okay, 
blessing for Leo. Oh, High Priestess. You guys are about to go through a level up in your psychic abilities, in your gifts. You guys are going to be more connected to your person more than normal. So you guys are going to be feeling like you can read their mind better or just understand them. So in this next like little the this next little timeline that you guys are going through, you're going to have a better understanding of this person without even needing a message, without even needing a reading, you're just going to know. Okay? Damn. I'm also getting that your person could be really intuitive. You guys, yeah. There's something you guys are about to free yourselves of. So the good news is whatever has been holding you hostage, whatever has been making you feel like tied down and burdened, you guys are about to release that. You guys are about to let that go. I don't know if that's a job, um, a shitty boss, but it's going to empower you. This is a fear that you're facing. Okay, Leo, what I'm getting is you are going to intuitively know what's going on with people around you. So intuitively be listening for when is going to be the right time to walk out the door for a toxic situation, whether this is friends, family, or your job. And when you go to do this, you will know when the timing is right. On top of that, you are going to feel empowered. Like it's going to be a big fear that you're facing to leave something that is toxic, but like maybe nothing's happening right now. And Maybe normally when you leave a situation, something crazy needs to be popping off for you to like get out of Dodge, but you're going to know when it's time to leave and you're going to face that fear and you're going to be the, the champion for yourself and you're going to triumph over evil and it's going to be a powerful display, okay? And okay, that's going to bring you um, your legacy, okay? So I hope that that helped you, Leo. There is something really big that you are releasing. I'm seeing that your love life is like not all that bad right now. And some things that you were maybe concerned about are, I don't know. If your person's been getting on your nerves, I feel like they do a lot of this. Okay. They do a lot of this when they're frustrated about betrayal. But I feel like it's small in the scheme of things like, most sneaky people are not going to be like, ah, this is what I'm going to go do. They just go do it. So I don't feel like they really want to scrutinize you. I don't feel like they really want to make you feel bad. I feel like this person really tries to rectify their behavior quickly. So I would really work on communicating with this person if that is the issue. Okay, Leo? All right. Looks like a little break. Who's next? Virgo. Okay, Virgo. Sun, moon, and rising, whether it's sidereal or tropical. Let's see what's going on for my Virgos, a person on your mind. We have vicious cycle. Somebody is being fake with you, Virgo. Somebody is pretending to be somebody that they're not. And... This person likes to self-sabotage. They like, they have, they don't, they're, it's hard for them to trust people. Whoever you were dealing with Virgo, it is very hard for them to trust people. They could be really jealous. Um, they can't trust because they've been cheated on a lot. They beat themselves up a lot um, for uh, past mistakes that they've made. But they're also pretending to be somebody that they're not because they're not being honest about the things that they've gone through in their past. So it's like they're beating themselves up for what they're not telling you and they're beating themselves up for what they've gone through in their past. They're always in their head. Maybe they're a Virgo too. They're like overthinking, over analytical. I'm getting that they're sneaky. They're sneaky. Anything on the light or the divine plan? What the frick? Okay, hold on. Let me pick this up. And see. Okay. Virgo, you were dealing with somebody petty. Somebody petty that is beyond repair. 
you guys could be trying to, sorry, my chair is squeaking. I swear you guys are hearing noises because <laughs> I always like do this. You guys are dealing with somebody petty. They act like they don't want to be the lone wolf, but they're acting like the lone wolf. Um, you guys could be trying to fix this relationship and it's been hard for you to see the truth that the damage that's been done is like irreversible. This person feels slighted. Oh, the audacity. They could have been trying to punish you, Virgo, for their own life, like their own life decisions. How is that your fault? Okay, how is their life decisions your fault? That's why this shit is beyond repair. You're like, you need to fix your, like, they need to work on their generational curses. They need to do some shadow work. They need to have a timeout. Because they don't trust. They're petty. They're fake. And they have a lot of guilt. And then they, like, play fragile with you. When actually you're the one that's fragile putting up with all of this shit. This person is extremely sensitive to feedback it's hard for them it's hard for you to communicate with them they shut down they shut down they play the victim they're overreactive plays the victim shifts blame this person's definitely pissing you off you guys could have been love struck by this person, but I'm not, I'm not getting that they're the one. Because they could be acting foolishly or you guys could be. And these, this relationship is like high risk. Like if this went on an insurance meter, like this is a high risk relationship because this person's extremely sensitive to feedback. Then they ignore their partner. They ignore you if they feel slighted. And then it's like they refuse to work on the damage. Then they refuse to work on the trust issues. They're overreactive. They're defensive. They're constantly shutting down. Like They openly flirt. What? They openly flirt with you in front of other people because they're following the crowd. Wow. Wow. I cannot. I cannot. This person openly flirts in front of a significant other. Touchy, feely, pretending like they're like dumb and love struck and trying to like be little. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. And they're doing this to like follow what they see on social media or to like follow the crowd. I don't know if they think this is what a divine masculine or divine feminine does, but it's definitely not. They give in too easily. They're weak minded. They're too weak for you. They're too weak for you, Virgo. This person wants to be treated like all these different things. Like, oh no, I'm, I'm fragile, but I have trust issues, but they're just trying to get like sympathy while like doing the most they must want to get knocked out and virgo if you have abandonment issues this is not the person that you should be talking to i'm not never going to tell you guys what to do but this person is a sheep and the reason why you need to steer clear of them is because you are too generous this person if they are given the chance they will take advantage of your kindness they will take advantage of the fact that you are a boss, that you are not going without. And they will try to fake the funk long enough to get some things and then go do their own thing with their wandering eye. They should get freaking punched in. They're going to leave you feeling stuck. They must be good looking, Virgo, if you're dealing with this. They must, they must have something to bring to the table if we're putting up with this. This person has addiction issues, whether it's the P word or they have some type of an addiction issue. Dating websites, OnlyFans, they're addicted to something and they're hiding it from you. They just feel like they always have to like have the upper hand and 
Then they act like, I'm trapped. I'm, I'm helpless. I'm the victim. Who has time for that? I know you don't, Virgo. Virgos are busy, busy, busy bees. This person wants to take advantage of your employment, of your generosity, of your charity. Like if you're giving, they'll take it. If you're paying, they'll take it. This person's got no shame. Like they do. They play that they have shame, but they don't got no shame. You got double energy here. Your good news, Virgo, is that you guys are going to get a new beginning and how you take action. Okay. You needed to date this Chuchelini over here to really go out there and crave some adventure. Virgo, if you've been overworking yourself and you're just like burnt out, this person is also helping siphon your energy and drain your energy. So you are going to be getting the creative spark that you've been that you've been wanting. You might even meet somebody on this adventure in this new beginning. <laughs> Justice. Justice in the building. Um, order in the cosmic court. Clarity. Your blessing that's coming in, Virgo, is you're going to get the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And their whole ass is going to be out in the air, out in the open. You will have clarity. You will feel good about moving forward. You will feel enthusiastic, okay? Karma even, karma ain't even making a full lap around the block. All you got to do, bestie, is stand back. Stand back. Sometimes when we are holding on to Chuchelini number two or Decepticon number four, we are blocking them from getting their justice, their karma, their judgment. So when we just stand back and we're like, universe, God, I'm done. Angels, ancestors, I'm done with them. I really mean it this time. Okay. You're not a little boy that cried wolf. You're like, I'm really done with them. Boom. Justice. You guys could also be seeing 1111 or 111. This person was out of touch with what you would put up with and for how long. Okay? They need to get their shit together. Okay, Virgo, I hope that that helped you guys. Let me know in the comments. Drop your diamonds down below if you guys like the love reading. Who is next? Libra. Okay? Libra is next. Libra, Libra, Libra. The person on your mind. You know what? I don't want to start with this deck. Let me use this one. Okay, Libra. Whether this is sidereal or tropical, anybody that wants to drop the timestamps, you guys are more than welcome to. And letting anyone know that is just joining what sign we are on. We've already done Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and we are on Libra. Okay. Major differences. The person on your mind, Libra, you guys have major differences. And you guys are feeling like your love life is cursed. You are desperately looking for true love. Uh, you guys have old-fashioned values. You're like, I just want somebody to wine and dine me, not booty call me. I just want a, a normal, regular, schmegular person. Where are they at, though? Where are they at? You guys feel like you've been having to get really creative with dating lately. You feel like you've had to be on, like, all the apps and all the situations to get, you know, to not feel completely bored. And you guys feel like you really have to read between the lines when you're talking to people. You guys could have recently went through a bad breakup or divorce. Tell me about the person on Libra's mind. Okay. This person has addiction issues, you guys. Oh, I hate this for you guys. Okay, Libra. The person on your mind is dealing with some poor habits, whether it's eating, addiction, partying, third party, whatever, debauchery. 
They're in the devil's domain. Okay? We'll call this Candyland. Okay? Libra, your person's playing in Candyland and they need to go home. Lights are out. Street lights are out. Ancestor said, go inside. Are they inside? No. They're doing something weird and you feel like, damn, is my love life freaking cursed right now? I've been having to do the most. Things are not as they seem. You guys could feel like something's off with this person, like, but you just don't know what it is. And you're trying so hard to read between the lines. You're like, something's off with them. I don't know what it is. And they could be causing you delays and setbacks if you keep effing with this person. Okay, you might just be sleeping with them. You might just be hooking up with them. So you're trying to keep it like light and delightful. <laughs> okay. But this person is just going to bring you issues that are heavier than they need to be. If you guys feel like you have anxiety when you're around, I don't care how hot this person is. Okay, I want some hot, hot tamales. That gave me anxiety through the roof. Okay, I get mad social anxiety now that I'm sober. And I have dealt with some really good looking people that made my heart palpitate, skip a beat, give me all types of agita I did not need. This person is doing that. Okay, on the low, you feel like they're making you carry some type of old baggage, some type of responsibility. Some type of responsibility, bestie, that ain't yours. Okay, and I'm seeing that, Libra, you have you have other possibilities. This person um, is just going to be possessive of you. They're not going to give you that old-fashioned type of value. They're going to be reckless with your heart. They got a careless attitude. And they're not playing their cards right with you. They are not playing their cards right. They're like, I want an offer. I'm seeing that you guys are going to get an offer of love, but it ain't going to be from a person. Ooh. This person could be acting like a child. This person could have children or they're hiding the fact that they have children. Something is not as it seems. This person is either married. They have children. They're not telling. There's, there's something that they're not telling you about. And I'm getting that you deserve an old fashioned love offer, you know, being courted and whatnot. And this person or anybody that makes you feel anxiety like you're high maintenance like it's just too much they are not the person that you need to be with the person that you're going to be with is going to you're going to have this sexual chemistry with you're going to feel this infatuation this could be somebody that's coming in for you you guys are going to have a lot of offers on the table it might not seem like that right now libra but you're not only going to have exes returning you're going to have others returning and Whoever this is, I don't know if this is an ex, somebody that you've been on off with, or somebody that you didn't give a fair shot to, but they're not going to be bothered by your list. Okay, Libra, they're not going to be bothered by your list. They're going to be like, oh my gosh, like, I, I, I lust for them. I want them. I'm obsessed with them. Okay. Yeah, you guys are about to get some clarity. You don't. This person, like, plugs up your third eye, okay? They, like, they guck it up. Drama. Religious factors. Wow. You guys have somebody coming in that's going to put you on a pedestal. They are going to be worth the fight, but it's not this person you're talking to right now, Libra. And... You will know if that is you because of addiction, because of things that they're hiding, because of heavy burdens they place on you, because they make you seem like you're high maintenance, like nobody could possibly love you, religious factors, and the fact that they bring drama into your life. Okay? That's confirmation. I just heard a semi-truck horn. Yeah. Yeah. This person that you're dealing with is, though you haven't been giving up easily, they are not worth the fight. It's like trick or treat to them. It's a game. They're playing games. They're acting like a child. And you guys got somebody refreshing that is coming in. Um, some It could be somebody from your past or somebody that you've known for a long time, but maybe you've never dated them. Somebody that you didn't really consider. You're going to reconsider is what I'm getting. Okay. 
So if you guys have been on a dating, a dating vendetta, I would just maybe pump the brakes for a second. And no, you don't need to be in isolation for forever, but you guys deserve a proper offering. And the people that you guys have been dealing with have been a little extreme. Okay, you guys deserve a proper offering. Let's get some good news for you. Okay, let's get some good news for Libra. Besides the fact that you guys have somebody coming in, um, just not the person that you're currently dealing with. They could give you mad, like, like stress. Okay. Blessing for Libra. Three of Pentacles. I knew it. You guys are about to meet somebody at school or at work. Somebody that you went to school with. Somebody that you went to high school with. Somebody that you went to college with. Somebody that you have forgotten about that's coming back from the past. Because I'm not getting that it's an ex. Okay, I'm not getting that, that they're an ex. And this person is going to enjoy learning about you. They're going to enjoy being your teammate. And I'm getting that you could have met them at school. You either went to elementary, high school, or you're currently in school with them. They could be somebody that's just on your social media, that you guys just have a lot of mutual friends. I told you, I told you, I told you. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yes, yes, yes. New love. So fuck that other person. You guys got new stuff coming in. Your cup is running over. Okay, starting to storm. So let's get through the rest of these astrological signs. We don't need this live stream going anywhere. <laughs> Anything out of the light or the divine plan is no longer welcome here. And must leave immediately. Okay. Let's see. Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. The person on your mind. What are they thinking? Not my live stream. Not today, Satan. Nope. Nope. Open swarms against me shall prosper. I don't freaking think so. Scorpio. Ooh. Okay, somebody that, whoever's on your mind, they are, they've been having a mental breakdown. They've been losing their, their ish. They're like mad at you. Oh, oh my gosh. What is going on, Scorpio? What is going on? Like I had enough twice. Okay, the person on your mind is easily seduced, Scorpio. They might act like they're loyal, but, like, look. Okay. You could be about to lose your ish because maybe you guys are in a committed relationship and you guys are both at your breaking point. I don't know. Maybe you guys thought you had uh, an agreement. Like, this is what I think loyalty is. This is what... I don't know, but somebody is trying to seduce your person. Hold the phone. Hold on. Okay, let me face these this way. Scorpio, what the frick, what the frick, what the frick, what the frick. Okay. They've been aggressive with you. I don't like this. Are they cheating, Scorpio? Who is this? They're trying to act like they're happy with somebody else. Are you guys on a break? Are you guys on a break? Ooh. These are good. <laughs> These are not good. These are not good. Okay, 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 okay. I get the feeling, Scorpio, that like, this ain't supposed to be going down like this. I get the feeling that this is supposed to be a proper offering and it ain't right now. I feel like you guys are either like having a baby, getting married. Like these are like, it's a serious commitment and like shit is just hitting the literal fan. What? Does your purse, are you in a long distance relationship? Or are you guys on a break? Or does your person work out of state or out of town? 
because they are doing something they are not supposed to be doing. And they are not paying the bills? I don't know. Scorpio, your person is up to no good. I do not, I just have a bad feeling that like they're not supposed to be doing this stuff. They are not supposed to be doing this stuff. Oh my gosh. Have you guys been trying to like hide the pain? Like, okay, we're having a baby. Okay, we're getting married. It's happening. It's happening. You know, I know that cannot be easy, but like I would almost rather give everybody the middle finger, not walk down the aisle if this person's treating me crazy. I'm going to figure out what else is going on, but if you guys have already broken up, they're acting like they're happy with somebody else. I don't know. Some bills are not getting paid. Somebody's been attempting to get your person. They've been trying over and over and over and over again. Who the heck? I don't know if this person's been like stashing their plan B. They've been acting like your hype man. This person's full of shit. Like, this person is like a tricky magician. They are... Maybe they drink a lot. Okay, maybe like everything looks like it's on the up and up and then they start drinking and they start acting like a totally different person. It's some type of vicious cycle. This person's trying to act like your hype man one day. They're trying to act like they're smothering you the one day. Happy that you're like the phoenix rising from the ashes and you are starting to get scared like this is a never after. Whether it's a break or you guys like recently called it quits or you guys live together. Like, you guys are closed off from distractions. This person is not. This person is not. Um, they're very jealous. Very jealous. Maybe this is an ex watching you. Because you're moving on. Huh. What the frick is going on? Maybe your ex owes you money? This person is dealing with an ex, okay? Maybe you guys have been doing some investigating and you're starting to see that this person is not who they say they are. I don't know if I'm connecting to a Scorpio's message, but it just seems like this is an ongoing battle. Maybe it's it's something that's been really hard for you to let go of. I'm getting, you've had enough? They've had enough? I... Thank you, Blaze. You guys are like carrying hurt from a past relationship. So a blessing that you have coming in, Scorpio, is... This isn't even supposed to be in here. Yeah, you're about to be brought back to life. You've got an extra message. You guys are about to be resuscitated. You're going to get access to new experiences from letting go of this fraudulent person. But I'm getting that in order for you to get this, you got to let go of this. Whether this is an ex, the person that you love, the person that you had children with, like they like the attention that they're getting. They're trying to stick it to you in some way, whether this is child support or not paying bills, like they're trying to stick it to you in some way. They're trying to make it look like they're real popular. The more you let go of this person, the, the better you're going to look. The more you let go of this person, the more you're going to unlock for yourself. Yeah, somebody you're dealing with goes overboard. Like, they're very jealous of your past. And your present. And they just, they're just needy. This person's needy. Like, they're too thirsty. This person's really, really thirsty. Like, and they passionately think about you. Like, they got wild emotions for you. But, like, this is a lot of work. Like, exhausting type of work. Because they're, I don't know if, okay, I don't want to say that. I don't know if they, like, 
have affairs or if they like pay escorts. I don't, I don't know. I'm just getting they be doing some sneaky, sneaky stuff while playing the victim. You guys are realizing like this is not a perfect match. Don't even bother with the love spells. This person is not worth it. Yeah, loving you now. Live your best life, Scorpio. Okay, live your best life. Okay. Sagittarius. Let's see, what is going on with Sagittarius? Holy macaroni. I was not ready for that. I was not ready for that. Okay. Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising, sidereal or tropical. You guys feel like time is running out for something? Let's see what's going on. Outside influences. Okay, the person on your mind. You guys are needing to ground yourself. You guys have some justice coming in. And there are a lot of people trying to, like, influence how you date or stick their two cents in when you didn't ask. Um, I'm seeing you guys are, like, your money is good right now, Sagittarius. You guys are, like, feeling yourself. You're feeling good. You're feeling free. Don't let any outside influences try to tell you how you should date, how you should live your life. Um, cause I'm getting that like somebody is trying to like do that. Yeah. Somebody's trying to like throw shade at you. Anybody that you're dating right now, Sagittarius, if they're throwing shade, you are not dealing with that. I'm also getting that you're going to be meeting somebody that is fair, somebody that is, um, like going to kind of like surprise you. There's somebody that you're going to be dating that's going to surprise you. That you were Netflix? Yes. Okay. There is somebody that you're going to Netflix and chill with. And they're also going to be doing things by unpopular opinion. Thank you, Blaze. This person's going to... You're going to have sexual chemistry with? Okay. The person on your mind. You need to keep it 100. The vibe check is don't gatekeep so much. Okay, this person might not be your normal type, Sagittarius, but keep it a buck and they're going to love every minute of it. Follow your intuition and uh, just be aware of your limitations. Be aware of, you know, trying to be in control of the whole situation. I'm getting that this person has their money together. You guys might be thinking, no, they think I'm ratchet. They think I'm this. They think I'm that. I think they they think that you're um, intriguing. They like the fact that you're like a breath of fresh air. You're different. Maybe you're thinking like this person's going to be just like all the other people that you date. Like maybe you guys normally date some thirsty fuckboys or some thirsty Beckys over there. You guys normally date opportunists. And I'm getting this person will want to properly court you. Oh, they're just going to take you by surprise. You're expecting this to flatline. You're expecting this to flatline. And it's actually your other relationships that aren't going anywhere. Okay. Now, let me get some astrological signs for you. Sagittarius corset. Okay. This is what I want you guys to understand. Sagittarius, you guys are getting a wish granted. You guys could be dealing with an Aquarius or an Aries. And instead of just being so prim and proper and thinking that you know everything about love, I know we all think that we do, thinking that you know everything about how this could possibly go, just give them a chance. Okay? Because they are dazzled by you. They think that you're brilliant. So they think that you might be like being too prim and proper and perfect and who gives a fuck, okay? What does Tyler Cero say? Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit, <laughs> okay? It's time. It's time. I love this. I love this. I love this. So who cares if they're not what everybody else thinks that they should be? I'm getting that they're just your type that you just need to like get to know them. Anything else for Sagittarius? Getting new beginnings. This person's going to, oh, 
It could also be a Pisces. This person's going to make you feel light of heart. So their astrological signs could be Aries, Aquarius, Pisces. They're going to bring this innocence back into your life, like friendship, good foundation. You're going to have plenty of space from this person. Like if you guys like, you know, not being smothered. I like this. I feel like you're going to look up to this person. They're going to help you reclaim your power. The person on your mind is going to help you self-improve. They're going to help you say, like, F the system, F the man, like, but it's not the person, like, you're thinking it's going to be. So if you guys have a list of people that you're dating, you're like, oh, this one's going to be it, this one's going to be it. It's going to be the person that you least expect. The person that you're like, eh, ain't nothing going to happen with that. They are the ones that are going to surprise you, okay? They are the ones that are going to appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, Preppy. Hi, Randon. They are the ones that are going to make you look in the mirror in a different way. They are the ones that are going to make you express yourself in a different way, step into your sovereignty in a different way. Damn. That's, like, really good. Okay, can I have a blessing for Sagittarius? Can I have a blessing? Okay. Okay. They are going to understand your regrets in life. This is how you guys are going to bond. There might be some things that you haven't done yet in life, like traveling or um, not working so much or something. They are going to understand your sadness. They're going to understand your tears. They just see you rare as a diamond in the rough. Okay? They see you as the empress. I'm getting a lot about you guys being the empress and just feeling abundant. You guys are going to be feeling yourselves. And this is a blessing that's coming in for you guys. That you are going to be feeling highly desirable. And you are reclaiming your power. Rar. Oh, I'm so happy for you guys. Okay. Again, the astrological science for you guys could be Aries, Scorpio, Aquarius. And, oh, Leo. Those could be their ask. Oh, Pisces and Cancer. Sorry, I forgot I pulled these ones too. So we got, they could be a Cancer. Any of these Sun, Moon, or Rising. Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Aries, Aquarius, or Scorpio. Okay, if you just need some extra confirmation. They don't have to be those signs, obviously. Okay, who do we got next? Capricorn. Capricorn. Let me put these together. You guys, if you're just entering the live stream, get comfortable. Grab whatever you be snacking on. Grab whatever you be sipping on. Whatever you be smoking on. Because we're getting the tea today. Okay. If anybody wants to timestamp this, it is greatly appreciated. If anybody wants to let anyone know as, we're, as they're entering where we're at, that would also be appreciated. Okay. Okay, where are we at? Capricorn. We got Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Where are we at on time? Shit. Do you guys like the love messages? Okay, because I feel like you guys were calling out for a love message. Make sure you show your love by smashing the you know what. Hit the bell, duh, so you can join in on future live streams Ooh. the person on your mind capricorn holy cow oh person on capricorn's mind Okay, Capricorn, I would be careful with the person on your mind. Maybe you guys normally network a lot and you date around. Maybe you guys are zeroed in on one person right now. And you might be thinking this is a victory, this is a miracle, this is nothing short of a blessing. But there's something off with this person. 
you guys have good things coming in and I don't know what bad news you've been finding out about this person, but you've been like glazing over it. Like, oh, I'm in phase. I've dated jerks before. I've dated blah, blah, blah before. And I don't know. I'm just getting like, you might not even be posting about this person, showing them off. Like that should be your first red flag. I'm not trying to call you out. Okay, I got a lot of Capricorns in my life. So what I'm getting is you guys could be dating somebody, seeing somebody, or effing somebody. And I mean a lot. You're doing a lot, Capricorn. And But you're not really, you're like hiding this person because you guys could still be seeing other people or this person is still seeing other people. Um, I feel like you guys have to be in control. So you're you're just trying to be like, I don't, you want to do the hurting before this person can hurt you. You want to do the hurting before this person can hurt you. Because you guys have been betrayed so many times. What you really need to admit to yourself is, though you enjoy hooking up with this person and spending time with this person, is that you do like some old-fashioned values and maybe this person is just moving really really fast but I feel like some of your values might not align or they everything could be really good but you guys could be sabotaging it okay I'm getting that there's two different scenarios okay I've got Capricorns where this person is bad news bad news bears and then I'm getting for other Capricorns you guys have somebody that is really devoted, really loyal, but they're, you're like, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. So it's like some of you guys are celebrating too early because this person is, is scheming in some way. They're manipulative in some way. They're a bad influence on you in some way. And then for others of you, this person is like the one and you're like, I don't, I don't want to say that they're the one because if you're like trying to hide them, they might not be the one, but you guys know what I mean. This person, if you're not showing them off on social media, if you're not even like really introducing them to people, you're not talking about them with certain people. I don't know. There's something that's just like not adding up here. So to this person, to my one group of Capricorns, they feel like you're a miracle in their life. And then to the other Capricorns, you guys feel like, I don't know, they feel like you're a miracle in their life. I don't know. You guys will know what side you fit on. Let's get out the love deck. This this deck is so blunt. It's so blunt. I'm scared. Tell me about the person on Capricorn's mind. I definitely get that you guys like sleeping with this person. I definitely get that. Ooh, okay. This person likes forcing you into submission. You guys might feel distracted by this person because you're doing so much with them. <laughs> you guys are doing so much with them and they like forcing you into submission. They like making you feel intimidated and you might allow them to win because it's easier than fighting, whether that's actual fighting or doing other things. Okay, something is booming here through all this craziness. We got opposites attract. All right, Capricorn, the person on your mind, they like you. And they feel like love is blooming, even though you guys are like, this is your banter, I'm guessing. Your banter is very like, let's do it in the bathroom. Let's do it in the shower. Let's do it everywhere. Who cares who's watching? Have I put them in a relationship on social media? No. Have I shared them or tagged them in anything? No. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on here. <laughs> There's something that you guys are masking. You guys are enjoying this little fantasy land. You guys got a little like role play going, a whole fantasy that you guys are outliving. And it looks like a lot of fun. It looks like a lot of fun. So maybe you guys aren't looking for anything serious, but I don't know. There's something about this person that, like, I would just be careful, okay? I can't even figure out what it is, but, yeah, I'm definitely getting that you guys are distracted by this person. If anything, 
Capricorn, they're a very good distraction, if anything, okay? They're at least helping you get over some pain, get over your ex. Like, you guys could have an ex that's been moving on. You guys have been isolated for a long time. So this is like a nice, like, change of pace. No matter whether it's long-term or short-term, this is a nice change of pace for you guys. I mean, this person, that they like you, and they want to be loyal to you, and they're, they're just as surprised, but... Maybe they're trying to change their manipulative ways. Maybe they're trying to get rid of their options, their side pieces, their other situations because maybe they want to change who they are because they see what's blooming and they don't want it to be a disaster, okay? I'm also getting that, you guys, be careful with your car in the next two weeks. You know, if you guys need an oil change, I'm getting that strongly. If you guys need an oil change, um, new windshield wipers, if you need to check the tire pressure in your car, you're just going to be seeing something. So you're either going to be finding something on this person's phone that you don't really like or that's going to trigger you and then be careful of your car because you guys know what transit we are about to enter. Okay. I'm getting that you guys are going to be spending a lot of time in the bubble bath or doing self-care. And maybe you guys haven't been introducing this person to people because they think that like they're, they're trouble or you're worried that people that you meet of theirs are going to think that you're trouble. Don't worry about them. Just keep minding your own business because I don't feel like it's going to matter. I don't feel like their, their opinion to the people in this person's inner circle are going to be relevant. Okay. Let's get some astrological signs for you guys. Okay, Capricorn. This person could be a Gemini. Whoa. Okay, I'm not picking that up. Okay, this person could be a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. I'm getting that they're really good at figuring you out. This is why you guys like them. They're like equipped to handle you. They're a little bit crazy. They're a little bit strategic. They're very smart. They're sarcastic. They're a little controlling, but like they can handle you. That's what's attracting you to them. They can really handle you. Oh, so, okay. Something important is going to take place in the next six to nine months. Be careful if you try not to get pregnant. Okay. I feel like this person's going to show you a lot of appreciation. But I still am not getting a clear answer if this person is like your person. Either way, I'm getting you're happy. So it doesn't matter. Okay, can I get a blessing for Capricorn? Whoever this person is, they're going to be really patient with you. Your blessing coming in is you guys are going to have peace and harmony, at least for right now. The only thing I'm really seeing is that this person could be hiding some skeletons, but I see that they want to change how they are. You guys could get triggered by something in their phone, handle it on the spot, and then be weary of, or, you know, be careful with your car right now. Just be mindful of your car. But I see that you guys are finding a different meaning to love or life. Or how you're living your life right now. You're finding some type of middle ground, middle path. I like that. Okay. Who is next? Aquarius. 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 Okay, I'm going to take a quick little break. I want to take my lip gloss off. And then we're going to do Aquarius and Pisces. Okay. Aquarius and Pisces are next. I'm going to take a quick little intermission because I'm going to take my lip gloss off. And for those, I'm going to use a different, I'm going to use a different deck. Okay, hold on guys. Driving me crazy. 
Okay. I feel better. Oh, I hate when lip, lip gloss gets like sticky. Where are we at on time? Okay, I'm gonna try to finish this in 10 minutes because I'm actually supposed to be somewhere and I forgot. Okay, Aquarius, we just finished Capricorn. Let's see what's going on for you guys. The person on your mind. Person on Aquarius is mine. Oh my gosh, you know when you're like opening face wipes? I went to open it and I popped the freaking container. I like ripped it open. I ripped it open so fast that I like ripped the container. And now it's going to like let all the air out. And I'm like, no. Okay. Aquarius, the person on your mind is growing up. Yes, they are. Okay, let's see what that means. Isha, welcome to VIP. Ooh, are you guys going to counseling? Okay, Aquarius, the person on your mind is going, like, they're seeking type, some type of counsel. They want to know how to, like, be better in this relationship or just be better in life. What's going on? I'm oh, curious. Tell me about the person on Aquarius's mind. Oh, okay. The person on your mind could be a workaholic and they're trying to figure out their life purpose. They're just trying to figure out their life and they really want to take this relationship or their life to the next level. I don't see anything bad yet, but I'm about to pull up the love deck. So let's see. They have been easily distracted. Okay, you guys could be a little pissed off at this person because they're easily distracted, Aquarius. They put, like, too many tasks on their plate. They, they're easily ungrounded. They, have, they could have wandering eyes, and I'm not, I don't know. I don't know if they actually have wandering eyes or if they just, like, be staring at people, but you guys will have to tell me what's going on. You guys could be unable to concentrate that this person does love you, but they just, like, I don't know if they have, like, ADHD or they're definitely lovesick over you. They're hopeful. So they're trying to push through some type of struggle with you, Aquarius. They're hoping that you're seeing them as a fixer-upper and not, like, beyond repair. Okay, you guys could be really frustrated with this person because they put too much on their plate. They work all the time. Like, you guys need to communicate better. But I do get that they're trying. The person on your mind is trying to be unstubborn they are trying to unload things off of their plate hold on okay camera's dying they are trying to unload things off of their plate they could be obsessed with social media maybe this is a problem in your guys's relationship and you're just like, okay, bro, get off of social media. Stop playing video games. Maybe they play video games all the time or that's what they want to do when they're done working. And you're like, what about me? And you're just tired of like nagging them. They definitely feel wounded because they feel like they're not doing anything right. Yeah, they feel closed off. So. If you feel like they've been a vault that you can't open up, it's because they, they need to deal with some ish. They need to deal with some ish. They feel right now like you're always doing a great job. They feel like you have this savior complex, like you can do it all and they do everything wrong. They feel like, you're always asking for like a pat on the back and you're just trying to communicate with them, but they're, they're seeing it as like, you just need a pat on the back because you do everything amazing and I do everything like this. And they're just frustrated. They feel like they can't keep up with you financially, romantically. 
and they just feel like they're slacking. Yeah, this person's definitely in pain, but when they're being immature, they get off on the pain that they cause you. What? What? They feel like you accepted this relationship with strings attached. And now they feel like you're bored with them. Damn, this person is mad. Okay, they're mad, but they're like, mm. Like, you get all this attention and you act so superior. Uh, that's probably why they're freaking counseling. Like, they need to own their shit. This person doesn't own their shit. They could have caused some financial issues. They could have caused some financial issues and you're just like, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? Like, this person does not like being called out. Okay, they do not like being called out. Maybe they're supposed to be studying and instead of studying, they're on social media. Maybe instead of studying, they're playing video games. This person is looking for any outlet besides like growing up. And you guys are tired of going round and round and rounds with them. You're just like grow up though actually yeah you guys have had enough let's get some good news for you Aquarius let's get some good news I'm getting that you guys are going to go to the next level oh three of swords okay all right this could be painful but it's definitely going to teach this person a lesson okay they ain't never going to forget the lesson you're about to teach them you know that I got cards all over the floor Wow, this person is definitely living like in La La Land. You guys are about to have a huge makeover from this relationship. Maybe this person's been making you glow down. You're about to glow up. Maybe you feel like, oh, I've been, I've been gaining weight. I've, I'm, I'm breaking out. Like this person's got me so stressed. I'm getting wrinkles. Like, oh no, 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 no. Yeah. You guys are about to. I don't know if you guys are gonna separate, but. You're like, I'm tired of being depressed over you. You're not fixing your shit fast enough. I don't know. This person definitely dilly dallies and you do not like that. Okay. Whoever I'm speaking to, you do not like this person dilly dallying. You know that they're a fixer upper and you've been fixing them up, but you're like, bro, how much can I do? How much can I do? Okay. I want to get to Pisces before the camera dies. And Okay. Pisces, sun, moon, or rising. You guys are enjoying the love message. Don't forget to smash the you-know-what. Hit the bell, duh. Anybody that wants to drop the timestamps for this message is greatly appreciated. I love you guys so, so much and hope that you guys are enjoying this love message. Okay, Pisces, last but not least. Ooh, okay. This person on your mind could be keeping tabs on a lot of people out of boredom. Okay, so maybe you guys are picking up on that. You don't know if they're like infatuated. Maybe you constantly have to check this person. Like, no, you shouldn't be following this girl that's always hitting on you. You shouldn't be following all your exes. So you guys could be giving them the cold shoulder right now because they're annoying you. You feel like they have a dating vendetta or maybe you are like, quite literally sick of your own shit like you're tired of dating you're tired of these bums that you're dealing with these dusties this person they can't forget anybody whoever they're nice to they're like oh I gotta be nice to this person I gotta be nice to that person I gotta follow them if they followed me and you're like stop with the niceties stop being nice to everybody you don't have to be nice to everybody you talk to they yeah dating fiasco this person does not understand boundaries Kapish, this person does not understand boundaries. You're like, why are you always peeping what this girl over here is doing or this guy over here is doing? Like, they don't matter. They don't matter. They, like, ignore you when you're trying to tell them, like, hey, who is this person that you're following? Maybe they're controlling over who you follow on social media if you have dating apps, but they also ignore when they are confronted we have emotional cheating. This person cannot be serious. They're having a hard time being serious. I'm getting it. You guys are going to have to like, 
lay down what the boundaries are depending on how invested you are in this person. This person is also pretending to be stronger than they appear. They're definitely a fraud trying to act like a leader. They're definitely stuck. They're immobilized by fear. And they're very unsure of themselves. You're like, it shouldn't be that hard. Like, if you like me, why are you talking to all these other girls? Why are you dating all these other girls? I'm just, this. there's infidelity. Okay, there is some type of emotional infidelity. Like, they want to have friendships with everybody. Why do you need all these friendships, huh? You don't. You don't. You don't need any new friends. Ooh, you guys are definitely going to be moving forward. You're going to use this person to heal, okay? Because I feel like you guys tried to make it work and then you keep getting stuck. And every time you make a movement, you go back two steps and you're like, this is not, no. Every time, it's almost like every time you guys are hopeful, they take you back a step. And this person could act like you're doing the most, but if they're acting like a victim, you're going to let them go. Pisces, you are the walking love spell, and this person acts like, I don't know, like a little chihuahua, like a golden retriever, a little dusty. They're getting on your nerves. Yeah, third-party interference. A lot of the people that like this person, they're obsessed with you. And they see you as competition. They see you as like, you're the one increasing this person's value. They are not the catch, okay? Let me be clear. You guys are upping this person's real estate. You are upping this person's value. And so it's bringing all these other little dusties, all these little thirsties around. No, no, no. This person on your mind is also really worried about their money. They're worried about dating, dodging you. Yeah, they take forever to pick up the freaking phone. I'm sure they do. You're going to be doing much better without their behind. Pisces. No, 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 no. Yeah, they're like, oh, I can't pick up the phone. I'm at work right now. I got a shower. Hold on. No, what? You don't got to do all that. You don't got to do all that. Annoying. But they're on social media all the time. You guys are about to come in swords blazing, assertive, dominant, saying, riddle me what? We're done. Riddle me what? No more fucks to give. None. Looking up into the sky. No fucks to give. Who are you? Who are you, good riddance? I can't. So something is going to set you off because this person is not who you think they are. And though you've been optimistic, your confidence is going to go through the roof. You are going to be looking amazing. This person has been um, a little bit nasty, a little bit temperamental, a little bit childish. And they've been dodging you. So if you needed confirmation because you thought, oh, I have abandonment issues. Oh, I, I sometimes have a poverty mindset. Could be my fault. No, 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 no. It's their fault. They are triggering these things. These are things that you are accepting about yourself. Like, okay, I'm not always positive. Okay. Sometimes I got my head up in the clouds. Okay. Sometimes I daydream too much. Okay, Pisces, come through. But... This person is only going to bring you more poverty, more hardship, more sickness, and more scandal. If you were like, you know, I don't know if they're, they are not, they panic when you call. They should be like, hello, I love you. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? But they like, they make you think you're crazy. The gaslighting is unreal. They are dodging you. They are. And you are about to roll over their whole freaking Camaro with your chariot. Your willpower is about to shift. They're on the internet too much. They be texting too much. They're on dating apps too much. They got too many acquaintances. No. No, no, no. You're about to release yourself. Can I get a blessing for Pisces? Thank you. You are about, about to violently shake this shit up. They thought that they get the last laugh while tying up loose ends behind your back. They wanted to laugh. Now the tower is theirs. They're going to be missing you. They were just going to slow down your growth. Okay. Wheel of fortune. It is your time to be at the top of the wheel. Let this upheaval happen. Oops. May let kicking chairs. Let this upheaval happen because though it might break your pride because you guys could have been looking real cute together. 
put their ish on front street because the sooner you let them go, the sooner you're going to have stability. The person that really does want to commit, the person that's not going to hesitate to commit, they're not going to be dodging your calls and not texting you and making you all confused, knowing damn well you got abandonment issues. No, they are not. No, they are not. No, they are not. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Drop your diamonds down below if anybody wants to timestamp. I love you guys, and I will pin it at the top of the comments. And, yeah, thank you guys. Gaslighting is like lying on 100. Yes. They're like, oh, that's not what it is. They try to make you think you're crazy. Then they try to love bomb you. And then they go right back to discarding you like a piece of freaking garbage. I don't think so. I do not think so. Okay, so we did Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Now I'm going to peace out of here faster than normal because the camera is going to die. And I don't want to do you guys dirty like that. But if you guys want a love reading every so often where I go through all the astrological signs, I need to hear that in the comments from you guys. I love you guys so much. I look forward to reading your comments. I look forward to reading the, lives, uh, the live chat replay. Thank you guys for all of your love and support. If we do more of these messages like this, I will add moderators to help me out. Um, so just be thinking about that if you maybe want love readings and then I'll be looking for subscribers that have been with me for a long time that can possibly be a moderator. So I will see you guys in the next one. And yeah, I would love your guys' feedback. And... I normally like steer clear of love, but I feel like you guys need that. Like there's there's this pivot happening in your life where some of it is love focused. And now I won't always focus on love, but it, it we need to add it to the equation. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I love you guys so much. Again, thank you. Don't forget that. Patreon is linked below if you guys are looking for love messages, pick a cards, and personal messages tailored for you. No ads, $11.11 a month. Link is at the top of the description box. Tripping over my words. And yeah, I'm just so excited that we got to do a love message for you guys, and I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope that you guys laughed, most of all, through, you know, love is pain, but like, we be transmuting that shit, making it into sunshine, rainbows, turn it from rotten lemons to just beautiful equations. You cannot be bothered, besties. No matter what astrological sign you are, you cannot be bothered. Now, next time, I will make sure that I have even more like battery. That way we can do a collective message at the end. Thank you, Lee. You're so sweet. May you receive that back tenfold. If you guys had any cash app donations during this live stream, Thank you so much in advance. I couldn't like really look up at my laptop. So I love you guys. And thank you guys for your super chats. Toodles. Bye guys.